Okay, we have that's pickle right there. Pickle is snacking on the gillikin and stuff. We'll take a look at the big birthday dinner here for the annual birthday bash that we have the last of July. Jamie's birthday on the little hors d'oeuvres there. Yep, that was a, a five pound stick of bologna that was uh, in the smoker all night. It's reduced itself dramatically here. That's part of a 14 pound brisket. 14 pounds has been in the smoker all night long. Jack's been working on that all night long and then he gets called to the hospital. Hadn't been called all weekend and he's called to the hospital. He had shorts on. An OU shirt. He said, I think I'm going to the hospital just like this. And I said, you might as well. They didn't dress up to come in. And uh, so he is, uh, he is, uh, he is gone to the hospital and missing the, what he has been working on for about, well, more than 24 hours. And uh, look at that little plate deal right there. What do you think, Stormy? Is it going to be any good? Yeah, it's good. That's right. What do you think, Jordan? I think that I'm ready to fix a plate. So get out, get out of your way, huh? Get run over here among this bunch. Especially with grandkids and great grandkids, you definitely get run over. That's what lightning does in schools, run over people. Sometimes. On, on the football field. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you get run over, don't you? A lot of the time. <laughs> a lot of the times you get run over, huh? I might run them over every once in a while, but I'm definitely getting run over. You definitely get run over, yeah. That's what happened when I played football too. I got run over a lot as well. Yeah, that's a nice, pretty-looking thing right there. All of the uh, honeydews and the honeydews and the cantaloupes and the watermelon are just sugary sweet. Those all came from Apache's Garden. There's a cantaloupe there. It's just as a backup. That'll be eaten before the evening's over. That is uh, banana pudding made by Lou. Her famous banana pudding right there. Who made the, uh, the egg salad, the potato salad? Mandy made the potato salad, looking good. Got a great looking casserole right there. And brisket, 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 brisket. Everybody's getting ready. We'll look at the birthday cake here in a little bit. The birthday cake, if it, we put candles on it for Jamie and Chris and I, look, we fire department had to be called. We got three birthday cakes. Three birthday cakes, Jordan said. Cool, things I don't know about. They all got the right amount of candles on them? They don't have any candles on them. They don't have any candles on them. That's good because it set the fire alarm off. <laughs> but that's a good way to start the party right here. Everybody get their belly full. One of the great things that Chris gets to do is somebody fills their plate for her before they... <laughs> that's a good deal, isn't it, baby? That's right, she says. And she's got a big old plate full of a little bit of everything there. She ain't going to help her cut things up a little bit. But boy, once it's cut up, she can get after it pretty doggone good. I'll attest to that because I do a lot of cutting up for her. Honey, you got a Lucky Strike shirt on there, red, white, and blue. Yeah, American flag shirt. Dolby would be proud of you. Yes, he would. Lucky Strike shirt she's got on there. Looking good. You got something to drink, honey? Okay. Birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. <laughs> Woohoo! Let's dig in. Get these cakes. Just bring us a, just bring us a fork. Yeah. <laughs> That's all we need is a fork. We don't need a knife. We don't need to cut them. That's right. Wow. That's some cakes right there. 